Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation story, shine on every land and praise. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our song to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, of the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul. Love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, loving Spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. O oh God, I call to you. O oh God, I call to you. I call to you. Watch within me, God. 
come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Hi, welcome to St. Luke's Lutheran Church in Colorado Springs for week two of our midweek Advent services and our Holden Evening Prayer service uh, that comes along with a uh, reading from our Bishop Dan Selbo about the second week in Advent. The Bishop writes, John the Baptist played a significant role in preparing for the way for the coming of Christ he was the forerunner. He paved and prepared the way. He ushered in the beginning of what is often referred to as the Messianic Age. Functioning much like the Old Testament prophets, he pointed beyond himself to the promised one who was to come. Of all the people, it could easily be argued that no one has ever lived who has fulfilled their God-given role better than John. Among those born of women, Jesus says, there is none greater than John. And yet Jesus goes on to say, the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than John. So what is our Lord telling us? What he's telling us is there's a major difference between life lived prior to Jesus and life lived fully in Jesus and within his kingdom. Prior to Jesus' appearance in the world, his life among us was a future promise. It had not happened yet. He had not appeared yet. Yet the prophets spoke of him, and the scriptures pointed to him. But his appearance had not yet taken place. But once it happened, and he appeared, all the promises found their fulfillment in him. Not only was his life a fulfillment of the promises, but in his life, he was the promise. Jesus was the Christ. Jesus was the one promised of old, the fulfillment of all to which the Old Testament prophets had pointed. The irony in this passage, as well as in the life of Jesus, was the fact that many of the common people including those referred to as tax collectors and sinners. They were the ones that recognized Jesus as the fulfillment that he was. While the religious leaders, the ones who knew scripture well, they were the ones who were unwilling to believe and to trust. Their trust was in themselves. Their faith was in what they wanted for themselves to be right. And their wisdom was only able to see as far as their personal and self-justifying concerns. No matter how it was presented, they consistently found fault. John the Baptist ate and drank nothing alcoholic, and they claimed he had a demon. Jesus was willing to eat and drink and to celebrate with the rest, and they called him a drunkard and a friend of sinners. 
No matter what happened, they would not accept it. No matter what was done and through whom it was done, it was finally never enough. Little did they know that Jesus' very reason for being born was to become the fulfillment of everything God had promised. Friend of sinners, thank God he was. Willing to love the unlovable, we should be eternally grateful. All the way from heaven to this earth, all the way from the manger to the cross, nothing could stop the love of God in Jesus. Nothing could stand in the way of God's saving plan made real and fulfilled in Christ. The question for us today is one where we place our trust and where and in whom we find our hope. If we find it in anything but God's saving plan and purpose in Christ, it is misguided. If we place it in anything other than what God has promised and fulfilled in Jesus, it will leave us empty and foolish. But if our hope is in Christ and our trust is in him, then not only will we be wise, but we will be eternally numbered among those considered by Jesus to be greater than John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and, and the, the darkness, darkness has, has not overcome, overcome it. it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, Humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God. And my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness in life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. 